In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the most effective way to beat match coverage in Madden 23. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody. Just want to welcome you here to the channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at how you can beat match coverage in Madden 23. This is part of our Madden 23 training camp series where we're coming back to some of the basics, some of the core fundamentals that it takes to be an effective Madden player year in and year out. And one of the most popular defenses, um, at least towards the end of Madden 22, was match coverage because I think the match coverage solves a lot of problems. Um, Spot drop coverage has always been problematic, in my opinion, um, in Madden. But this year, um, you're seeing match coverage continue to be more effective as every year goes by. Well, in Madden 23, match coverage is really, really, really good. And the reason it's so good is because it forces you to have to think a little bit differently in terms of the way that you attack. Let me give you just a brief example here. And this comes out of the Gun Bunch. So this one of the rest route combinations for years in Gun Bunch. And it's basically just this right here. And what you'll see is this does a really good job at stopping this read. As you can see right here, the guy takes it away. Versus a cover three, that would be open. You could throw that. A cover four drop, that would be open. You could throw that. In Madden 23, match coverage takes away what I call the triangle read. What I mean by the triangle read is essentially... Um, the, the, the traditional way that you want to attack zone coverage um, is essentially with high-low concepts or triangle concepts. And match coverage does a really, really good job of matching routes that are trying to overwhelm or flood zone coverage. And so it really makes it more difficult to beat match coverage. So in this video, we're going to give you a really cool little principle that you can use um, to beat match coverage. It's a principle that I like to call leverage. What do I mean when I say leverage? I mean, I think that match coverage, we're going to talk about beating match coverage. It's all about out leveraging your opponent to be able to attack them in some of the same ways that you use zone and man, but you're now in a position with more leverage so that it's more difficult for the quarter zones to drive on routes um, to be able to stop them. Now, with that being said, we're going to be coming out in the trips tight in formation out of the New England Patriots playbook, and we're going to be utilizing the play PA slot corner. It's one of my favorite plays to attack any defense in Madden 23, and it's a core passing concept that I think you really need to understand if you're going to be effective in this game. Also, if you want to get my entire Trips Tight End Offensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. It includes all of our entire breakdown for Madden 22, but it's also going to include the concepts that we've already discovered for the Madden 23 beta that we're going to be implementing into Madden 23, including the best one play touchdown in the entire beta. So if you want to check that out, that link is down below. Okay, so let's talk about this. So um, there's two primary ways that an opponent can play match coverage. The first one is cover four palms. And cover four palms has what is known as the special check. Essentially what that means is they're going to try to play this as if it was not trips. So they're going to man this guy up on this guy. That's effectively how the coverage will work. He's going to be locked on him wherever he goes. This guy is now going to be a... Um, this guy and this guy, they're going to be playing what's called known as palms coverage over the number one or the number two and the number three. So if number 13 goes to the flat, then Buntling is going to take him. If number 18 goes to the flat, Buntling is going to take him. But if number 18 goes vertical, if they all three go vertical, Burfley is going to take 18 and this guy is going to take 13. Okay. So the, the easiest way to out leverage this, um, to out leverage this defense is essentially to do this we're going to kind of take this guy and we can leave him on this drag if we want to but you just have to understand this guy's basically in man-to-man -man coverage and we're going to just do this this is a real simple way to beat match and what you'll see is we'll out leverage them just like so now this concept does not always result in a one place score but what it does do is it makes it very difficult to play match coverage and this is where teams should be using cover four quarters because if the number one goes under, they should spin, if you will. And you'll see that this play does a little bit better of a job, but it's still not able to stop this concept. Now, another thing that I want to talk about when we talk about um, attacking with match coverage is you need to have routes on the field that are kind of man beaters, if you will. So one of my favorite routes to attack match coverage with is the smart routed in route. So in this example, I could put my tight end on a smart routed in 
And then from there, I could kind of do a lot of different things with Devontae Adams. But what you'll see here is my tight end on his smart routed in will normally do a good job of being a good little check down for me as well in a match coverage scenario. However, if I run my tight end on this corner route, you'll see that match coverage will play this really well because of why they have leverage um, to be able to have outside leverage to be able to stop the corner route. Why does the corner route do so well with Lazard? Well, it's because there's no leverage for them to get back onto him. So another really effective way to beat match coverage, real simple, is just a streak corner flat. What you'll see is this quarter zone on the left will try to take circle. He actually plays him really well there, but he won't always guard him. And again, back to again the core principle, leverage, right? We need to have good we need to have the ability to out leverage our opponent. With cover six coverage, this is a little bit of a nuance, but it's kind of similar. And what you'll see here is we're getting a special check to the backside. And a lot of times you'll get where they just kind of mismatch up and you have that streak. Now, that's not exactly the way that the play should work. But one of the best traditional ways to attack a palms coverage or even a quarters coverage is with deep out routes or deep comeback routes or deep corner routes for that matter. So what you'll see here, another way that I really like to attack this is this right here. And we're just going to basically turn this into quarters coverage. And what you'll see is this corner route is going to do a really good job of just out leveraging to the sideline. And then I can throw it with an outside pass lead. If I got a little bit better route running, I could easily throw that ball. But then I also have a ton of check downs on the back side of this. And again, I can't stress enough how good the digs are against match coverage. So let's say that circle is guard. Let's just say the quarter does a really good job of driving on the route and takes him away. Well, now I've got my drag and my in route coming back side. As you can see right there, my dig was wide open for about 15, 20 yards. So that's another way that you can kind of try to out leverage match coverage. And then the last thing that I want to show you today is if they're going to truly run a lot of match coverage, um, one of the other things that you can do is essentially try to isolate corners. What do I mean by isolating isolating uh, routes? Well, essentially, we're going to kind of recreate this concept, but we're going to take Lazard and we're going to motion him to the right. We're going to put him on a streak. So now we see here we're going to try to basically open up a lot of space for this this route right here and you could easily do this with essentially something like this so this is just a little bit of a mills concept but now we get a one-on-one -on -one with our best player and a lot of times that post will get open against match coverage as well match coverage is one of the better coverages i think that you could possibly play uh however there are some really simple ways to beat it let me give you one last one while i'm thinking about it and that's just this right here uh, what you'll see with this is this quarter flat will get sucked inside almost every time. And this out route to circle will be wide open um, as he cuts to the outside. So again, those little out leveraging match coverage to me is one of the easiest ways to attack it. I think personally one of the best things you can do though still in Madden 23 is a simple concept like this is really hard to guard in Madden 23. You'll see right here that my tight end is wide open. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to learn more uh, about my trips tight end offense, be sure to, jo to join our Patreon so you can get access to my full trips tight end offensive ebook. The link to do that is down in the description below.